Are you ready to get more horsepower out of your Razor Pro XP? Well, Super ATV's got you covered with our Rev1 ECU tune, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to get it installed. So let's jump right in. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the driver's side of the machine and where your knee would be when you're sitting inside, you're gonna see that there's a fuse panel. We're just gonna pinch each of the tabs here on the sides. Go ahead and pull it off. And we're gonna look and we're gonna look for the SCM relay. So we're gonna look and we're gonna say, okay, we see the five amp next to it. So that one right there, that's gonna be our SCM relay. So sometimes you can't get these out by hand. I like to just take a pair of needle nose, grab a hold of it and pull it out. Just makes it a little bit easier there on you. And we'll just sit it right in our console here so we don't lose it. Then we're gonna climb up in the machine. The next thing we're gonna do is go to the center storage compartment. Go ahead and open it up. And we're gonna remove the center section here. It's kinda hard to get your hands on it, so I usually just like to take a popper tool here. Just kinda slide it in here. And just pop it straight up. We'll go ahead and remove it. Now if you look straight down in there, you're gonna see that there's another little fuse panel. The fifth one down from the top is gonna say EPS. That's the one we're gonna remove. So we're just gonna stick our hand in here and pop the two yellow tabs back out of the way. And remove the cover and it'll have a tether on it so you can't completely remove it. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, and five. Should be a 30 amp fuse. We'll go ahead and remove it. And then we'll just sit it up here out of the way. Next thing we're gonna do is reach up underneath the dash and we're gonna find the diagnostic plug. So right here on this plug, there's gonna be a little tab. We're just gonna press it in. and remove it right from the dummy plug there. And we're just gonna let this hang down until we grab our ECU tuner, plug it in. So we have our ECU tuner out of the box. We're gonna take the harness and plug it right into the bottom of the tuner itself. Snap right into position just like that. We're gonna go ahead and take our connection here and connect it to the diagnostic port that we just recently removed. And we're just gonna follow the instructions. Touch screen needs calibrated. So we're gonna touch the screen and then we're gonna touch all the black dots. We're gonna detect the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and turn the key on one position or two positions, sorry. So we got two positions, everything should be turning on. We don't wanna fire the machine up though. We're gonna go through, we're gonna read these disclaimers. We've already read them all, so we're just gonna go ahead and Click through them here. We accept them. We got our ignition on, press OK. Success, unit license to this ATV, so we're gonna click back. Now we're gonna grab our Rev1 flash drive. It's included in the kit. We're gonna plug it, plug it in right to the side of the handheld tuner here. Just like that, we're gonna click on copy files. So what we did on this tune is we got a stage one, a stage two, stage three, and a stock. So what we're gonna do, or what you would do, you'd go through and you'd copy all these tunes. Today, all we're gonna be copying is our stage two and our stock tune. And you're just gonna let it open. This will take some time here. Just be patient. Don't shut your machine off. Don't do anything. Don't touch the ECU tuner. Sit it down for a minute. Go get a drink then come back. Should be ready to go. So now we've copied our files over. Like I said, we only did our stage two tune and our stock tune. The awesome thing about our tuners is you can get a stage one, stage two, stage three, and we leave a stock tune on there so you can revert back to stock if you'd like to. So after it's complete, we're gonna go ahead and click on the yellow arrow and we're gonna go to tune ECU. So we're gonna let it sit here for a minute. We'll just take a second for it to get booted up. So you see we have our stage two or S2 and then we have our STK. We're gonna go ahead and tune the ECM with an, a stage two tune. Ignition is on and press okay. So our ignition's on, so we're gonna go ahead and press okay. And this part here, it's gonna take some time as well. Again, do not shut your machine off. Don't turn the key off, don't unplug anything. 
if your battery voltage drops below 12 and a half volts, it may not tune. So in that case, if it stops and you're sitting here for you know 30, 40 minutes and it hasn't done a single thing, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna shut your key off, unhook your ECU tuner, fire the machine up, you know, maybe go ride it a little bit, get it up to, you know, where the batteries charge back up and then try to retune it. Now that's very rare, but if you have a bad battery in your machine or something like that, it's very possible that this could happen. So ours is programming here and we'll see you whenever it's done. So now as you can see, it says flashing complete. We're gonna go ahead and click our arrow. It's gonna take us back to our home screen. So now our machine is tuned. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shut our key all the way off we're gonna go down here to where we made our connection to the diagnostic port. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect it. We'll set this up out of the way. We're just gonna go ahead and fire our machine up, make sure it runs good. So looks like our machine's running great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our diagnostic plug here. We're gonna plug it right back into the dummy plug that was on the bottom side of the dash. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll reinstall our EPS relay. And obviously there's only one open spot, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop it right into position. Take our center console piece, put that back in position. And then we are going to grab our SCM relay that we previously removed and we will go ahead and get that reinstalled and then reinstall our cover. And there you have it. That's how super quick and easy it is to install Super ATV's Rev1 ECU tuner on the Razer Pro XP. For more information on our ECU tuner or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.